Hello everybody and welcome again to the channel. We're going to be testing Cyberpunk 2.1 again after a year. Let's see the performance improvements, new technologies, new NVIDIA drivers, new things that the actual game uh, enhanced in regards to performance on Linux, Proton, and everything put together. We're going to be seeing the, the benefits of it. Okay. The only thing that we're missing right now is frame generation and DLSS 3.5 or 3 in general. Okay. Apart from that, everything is there for the taking. So let's use again the ones that I used before, um, which were the channel from uh, Zworm, if I recall. Zworm, I don't know why they didn't copy the, the name here. I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see it. So we're talking about uh, at 4K, they're using ray tracing psycho and DLSS on quality. Okay, I'm guessing they also have frame generation in there, but just let's assume that they don't. Uh, and it's running at 53 FPS. I'm going to do the same thing, but only with Psycho alone. Um, uh, yeah, this is the case. So he had here uh, 39 FPS, um, only on Psycho. And I think everything else was disabled at that, at that point. Um, and on this one, then that means that he actually only had this to enable without frame generation, I think. If you want, you can just go to Zworm or just type RTX 4090 Cyberpunk 2077 and you're going to see this video at some point. Um, here's another one from Benchmark, Benchmark Boy and he, this user has 77, around 77, okay, an average of 84 there with uh, DLSS quality. I'm guessing because of how things look. The ray tracing is not like super there. I'm guessing. I'm gonna I'm gonna see this overdrive thing here, but they do have frame generation, so don't expect me to get to 77 until frame generation actually gets enabled here. And they're using the LSS 3.5 too. Here's another one from Bang for Buck PC Gamer. Um, same around the same thing. 77. I'm guessing. <clears throat> path DLSS is enabled there on quality and you know ray tracing all that I don't know why the graphics look so horrible here okay and that's it so let's jump into the game and let's go to graphics so the first thing is we gotta kill this one resolution scaling no 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 um, as you can see it's it doesn't enable it so no DLSS we just wanna force it with ray tracing Okay, the path tracing is disabled, but ray tracing is running at psycho. Okay, and let me see what else we got here. I think I, there were some options that were just for visual. They were hitting the 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 performance a lot, so just. But the one that we care about is here. It is screen space reflection quality. It's, I left it in ultra, and basically you can see everything there. Let's go to here. Um, you can see them getting 33, 33 FPS. So instead of 39, we're getting 33. And you can see the, the effect there, okay, of the... Um, let me see if I can kill it more. I think there was a 29 somewhere in here. Well, you can see the. Okay. Okay, we can see you. You can see that it's around thirty. Okay, let's just say around thirty. We're gonna be driving in a second. Wow. You can see this here too. Let's change it to resolution scaling. And yep, like that. Let's see the bump. Okay, so the bump is basically twice. So we're, instead of 30, we're getting almost 60. For you to get an, an idea. No frame generation again, because remember, that doesn't exist on, on, on Linux yet. Or NVIDIA at least. Uh, let's enable this and let's see what 
What's gonna happen? Yeah, I see the same thing. Let's uh, borrow this car. Borrow. Whoops. Sorry, lady. Drive around a little bit. We snap. Okay. You can see that it's still 60, around 60. Is it uh, okay? Give me a second. I think it's a uh, because I gotta configure it. The, um, the mango hut I have it configured for a new thing that I'm going to be doing a new video so you can set it to 60 um, 120 144 165 and 240 and up but yeah it's it's around 60 well on the 4090 I don't feel any input lag at all and you can see ray tracing working beautifully. Yeah. And it's it's if you compare this to the previous video, you can see that you are, we're actually getting a bit better performance in general. Yeah, I think we can say that for sure. Now, um, that was quality. Let's put in perf ultra performance. What the hell? Remember that compared to the videos that I'm from the Windows, basically everything is almost new here. With the exception of Benchmark Board. He has, I think, 2.0 in there. So, okay, let's see what ultra quality gives me. Okay. Ultra performance, sorry. Let, let me let me go check out the water. That's what I'm always checking. What? My car. Sorry guys. Okay, there were some like water reflections somewhere in here. What the hell? Okay. Okay. Yeah, like that one. We can use that one. Just to see how ultra performance affects the quality. And it the uh, same thing, yeah. Look at the car passing. Boom, yeah. And we're getting very, very good FPS. That's a nice improvement. I think before it didn't work. It didn't actually um, have a better performance. A year ago. We're talking a year ago. Let's just start racing stuff here. You know, a little bit. A little bit, a little bit more, a little bit there. Let's try to kill this thing. I think it's everything is full. Bum bum bum. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Yeah, it went down. All right. So it went down a little bit compared to. It's not as clean anymore as like the air feels dense, but I mean it's it's playable. We're getting 50 with the quality again, and we're getting 60. So it just went down 20%. Uh, and here, instead of that 100 or whatever it was there, we're just getting this much, which is still nice. Still nice. Good quality. What happens if I change this? 
Somebody wanted to ask how the game would perform. Oh my god, it looks horrible on the... Well, on a 4K, it looks very, very blurry. Very. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm guessing because it's doing the DLSS, it's grabbing a less resolution of the 1920 by 1080 and putting it here. What happens if we literally remove all this? Like that. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. What? Is it red? And, okay. Let's change that back because it lo really looks horrible. If you have a 4K monitor and you're able to play in 4K, the quality is completely different. Okay, resolution scaling off so we can see how much lag we can cause the game to suffer wow okay so um, one two fps less after we disable everything there okay that that has improved a lot let's enable path tracing now i know i remember recall that path tracing was a killer oh yeah <laughs> oh, oh, oh. it's uh Whatever path tracing is supposed to do with the lights and reflections and everything doesn't compare to the performance impact that it's having. It's not worth it, is what I'm trying to say. So yeah, let's kill that. And even on cycle this thing, everything is, has better performance than. Okay. I think that that covers the video uh, using the the comparison uh, we can just go back here to the videos and as you seen DSS quality we're getting we're getting better without frame generation we're getting better than this um, just a little bit better than the, the 53 by the way it's not like wow 200% better but again, this video was done when um, the game came out, okay? So with all the performance and all the things that have come up, um, and also know that, I don't know if they're using frame generation here or not, but for 4K at Psycho Ray Tracing with the LSS quality, we're getting around 60, okay? And here, um, with only ray tracing at psycho we're getting around 30 around 30 instead of 39 like it says here and for everything here except frame generation which would span this we're actually getting much more than this and let me see yeah same thing here so for the only case that i can see compared to windows that we're getting less is when we don't enable DLSS, we only enable ray tracing full and we get a little bit less and that's it. So I think window, I mean, Linux is catching up really, really fast with Proton DXPK and um, everything, all the um, tools that Proton is using to, to enhance DirectX 12, Vulkan and all that, okay? So that's, that's, that's great news compared to last year, which is a lot. So once we get frame generation and DLSS 3.x on this, it would mean, in theory, that Linux will have a much better uh, performance using those latest technologies than Windows. Some people have mentioned the reason for that is because of the huge overhead that you get on, on Windows um, 11. I don't know in 10, but just on Windows 11, there's a huge overhead for certain um, video technologies. So that that's that will be one reason. I don't know if it is. You can comment on it, but uh, you can see that there's a large improvement compared to last year. So I hope you liked the video. Big hugs and think positive as always. Bye.